So welcome back everybody into another New York session. We have PPI, Producer Price Index, in just a minute. Yeah, basically 45 seconds. And we're going to have a look at the how it will affect EUUSD, gold, and of course GBP USD. Uh, these are already the hourly chart uh, areas marked up. So we're going to monitor the uh, reactions, of course, after uh, the this main uh, the main movement. Not it's not really the CPI, but it should bring some more volume and volatility, especially if the number is very different, far away from this expected or the prior number. So well, let's see in uh, more or less. 10 seconds, 8, 9, 7, 6, 4, 5. And let's see uh, what is going to do, what is going to, re how is going to react the USD. Looks like USD weakness. Yeah. So it is showing uh, that is decreasing, which is feeding into the rate cuts narrative. So uh, your USD pushed up much more than. Uh, then gold, for example, the reaction on gold was not as important. I mean, it was 50 pips, but yeah, look on uh, GBP USD. I would love to see a pullback. I don't know if uh, to these eyes or if we're going to see a break a retest of these ones. Yeah, to we can possibly see the continuation up above uh, that, that level. Euro USD for now did not give um, too much to clear of a price action. We might be seeing this re this retest for possible entry, and uh, let's see gold. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, gold at this push, as it is the same. If we push uh, push back up from that level, uh, we might see the continuation uh, upwards. Yeah, which is also this level was the level of the morning. We can see a retest of this area before the continuation. I would love to see a break above the hourly before that but we can have we had a high chance that the price will continue from there let me just move uh, gpusd over here on the other screen so this could be a possible first entry with a break and retest at these lows but i would love to see the breakout above these eyes uh, before uh, taking any entry and yeah so um GPUSD is not moving, not reacting too much. And uh, yeah, EUUSD, as you can see, this entry would have been a, like a six pip already. Uh, this is a retest, multiple retests, but yeah, back to the entry. Also, as you can see on gold, exactly the same happened. Uh, very strong reaction from this hourly. So that's why I'm looking for the uh, breakout and a retest of that area before uh, taking any entry so uh, on your usd that same entry would have been a break even and let's see gp usd yeah is uh still the size if we break above that's a possible good entry and let's see gold how it's going to to react we don't have anything expected today apart from that and it's a friday so we're going to see how the price is are going to uh, is going to to react uh, throughout the rest of the session and uh, yeah, we need to be patient patient uh, for that let's see do, do, do. Let's see if we break below this area, we we'll get a deeper pullback to these lows. Uh, yeah, it will, I would prefer to take it on uh, GBPUSD to see the retracement of the <coughs> or the way down after reacting exactly conveniently at this hourly as well, as you can, as you can see. Your USD is still reacting at the same area. So if we didn't have the actual stop loss at break even, the trade idea will still be live and uh, okay. Gold is still at these lows. So this is showing that the markets are not really uh, one direction uh, with a 
with a la 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 with a clear mindset and a clear direction so yeah i was showing you this one yeah markets are not really don't have this the mind uh, very clear let's have a look if we break above these eyes that's good or uh, if we have a fast retest of these lows all the way down so this one is okay this one has to be adapted okay <coughs> and gold has to be adapted right oh, well. for now it's bouncing but there is not it's not showing any strong trend so not really uh, giving us any setup or anything Now, your USD will be breaking below these lows. Nope. <laughs> it almost break below these lows, but then react. Okay. Yeah. Basically, they're moving quite the same. So probably uh, at the same time that your USD will break above, and GP USD will break above. And most likely gold would break out would break out from these eyes. Let's see. So far the closest one to break above is gold. After grabbing this liquidity at around I would say 50% of the move. Yeah, 50% of the move. And uh, then pushing back up. Let's see. Uh GPU is this still not breaking above. Your USD is more it's closer to the to the area than GPUSD, but the closest one is actually gold. So let's see, let's monitor these two. Let's see if we're going to see a breakout uh, from this level. I will take a possibly uh I mean no with, with this stop loss, no. <coughs> yeah, I want a breaker retest to happen. Boom, all the way down. Price is ranging, but this is at least it is creating a nice uh, PSA where uh, we can validate more clear uh, buys above or sells below due to this resistance, due to this support. Yeah, so now for now, gold is not at its lows, but see, uh, GPUSD, yes, nice breakout candle. Uh, this is where the limit order, if I place that. Would it be triggered already? So let's see. I would have played the trade idea. Yeah, would have been a loss with such a small stop loss. And yes, so this one would have been a loss. Let's see how it's uh, reacting. Also, yeah, also your USD made a quick uh, look down, but then it's back, almost back into the range. And um, yeah, we might see that price is going now to grab liquidity and then push up so we ne needed this liquidity before pushing back up and uh, possibly break above and retest and continue on the bullish side if the dollar weakness uh, is still very strong gold let's have a look at gold we'll see that his eyes the same is uh, likely that it will uh, push up Okay, GPUSD might give us a first high risk reward entry over here, but let's see if they are going to push. <coughs> I wouldn't want to take the entry at these lows before I see a breakout. So let's see. let's see what is uh what is the actual price action. Now it's breaking above. Gold not yet. EURUSD not yet, 
Now, if we see some str strength, then, then I can place a buy limit at these lows. Yeah, for example, over here at these lows, I can place it. Uh, but I will need also EURUSD to break above to give me that uh, that push. Yeah, I like that EURUSD is still facing this rejection. So uh, if EURUSD is not able to break above, then I'm not really trusting the uh, USD weakness. Now it's breaking above, so yeah, it's, it might be okay. Wouldn't be activated anyway. So let's see. Yeah, I'm still betting on the USD weakness, even though I don't really like this this price action. And your USD got rejected at his eyes, at his uh, yeah, at his hourly eyes. So I don't want this uh, GBP USD to then melt down. So yeah, and gold did not push above. So uh, as you can see, this one would have been a loss just for that reason, but not really. That's why I didn't want to take it because the other pair that are really influencing uh, the USD in general, uh, the other pair, which is EURUSD, were, was not showing me the same strength um, that I was seeing on GBP USD. And let's see, gold, gold still not breaking above, the same. So now let's see if we might see this reaction. At the same time that the EURUSD is at the low of the range. So, but uh, so far, I'm not really trusting the USD weakness yet. And uh, yeah, it's not giving us any real sure signs of uh, continuation bullish. EURUSD is at the bottom of the range. So, if it's bouncing from here, then it's likely that GBP USD is going to bounce from there. But now we are at a close but we are at a psa that is a uh, way to double directional than uh, to take advantage of okay looks like a nice double bottom at these lows but we don't know if then we have an engulfing candle, it is all thrown away. At the same time, that EURUSD, as I was saying, is still at these lows. We are at a PSA that we can easily break below. Yeah, as exactly as it is happening, which would be yeah not good for any buy on uh, GPUSD. You we are seeing that yeah, very nice strong reaction. I don't know what this PSA is. Yeah, might be a PSA where price is grabbing liquidity. Don't know. We are now almost 75% retracement, exactly this PSA. Yeah, wow, nice, nice bounce, <laughs> already three pips. And uh, yeah, five pips would be to retest these lows. And let's see. Here we have, yeah, we got a 61.8 retracement on GBPUSD. Gold, how is reacting? Gold is not moving too much. It's staying into this range and uh, not giving us any clear, cool price action. Uh, GPUSD gave us this retest, but I'm not really sure that I would have been able to take it. This, yeah, I didn't see that. This adaptation of your USD would have actually been very nice. Um, we might have, but the range is not big. This retest over here before the continuation down is to retest this uh, pre-report area. Yeah, I didn't adapt th these lows. This one would have been a nice entry. It would be already at break even. Let's see if we would have uh, actually continued down. <coughs> also, GPUSD, yeah, the same thing that we were looking at, but we are most looking likely looking for these lows and uh, but yeah also the entry would have been quite uh, tight gold is still moving in this area failing to close below now we are seeing some dollar uh, pullback so dollar weakness showing into a table but 
so far is no uh, there is no no entry yeah and this one even this entry would have been a break even because it would only go around six pips just to show you how if this this is if the break even uh, was active because we might see a further pullback to these lows and uh, yeah let's see i just want to continue gpusd now still in the middle of this range i want to see a much clearer price action gold same thing i would love to see uh, some buys above here to have a clear bias to have a clear uh, continuation with the overall fundamentals, uh, fundamental bias and sentiment of the weak, the USD weakness. But we're going to monitor now the new four hour and uh, the upcoming, uh, what is going to happen volume wise and, uh, and in that. Let's see GJ. GJ, yeah, we got the news. Over here, yeah, GJ is moving more in a, in a fa singular fashion. As you can see, that we had the break every test of these lows and we go to the last lows, and now we are continuing down. So, GJ is giving us this possible, much clearer um, price action one bias, one sided bias compared to uh, the USD pairs. Now, GBPUSD is breaking below these lows. Let's see if we get a, a clean uh, breakout and a retest. But yeah, these pairs are showing, gold is showing some strength. And uh, GP, GPY, the same, uh, is showing us the weakness of the GJ. Okay. Okay. So for now we got uh, a bounce and now it's actually GJ giving us the best movements as you can see this entry this entry these are the best movements so far and the breakout test as we just saw it is the thing is that with this spread I don't really like to trade it uh, I will probably have to find a way to do so but now it's not really something that I I love <laughs> doing. Uh, yeah, your USD will still be here. Uh, gold still at his eyes. So let's see if we're going to see a push up with the new four hour. Uh, GPUSD instead of retesting the old lows, retested the new one uh, for a possible already five pips move almost. And uh, yeah, your USD. <coughs> Uh, is possibly now breaking below this last is lows. So now this one, our first entry would have been a break even. The second entry, or if we didn't have the break even level, because we would still be safe. Yeah, the stop loss would have been over there. Uh, still live. Okay. Let's see, gold is still not breaking above. Okay, let's see. Okay, so yeah, we are seeing a breakout on EURUSD and uh, yeah, on GPUSD, 
a little bit more time, but this entry that I missed uh, would be working out, at least with the stop loss at the break even. And um, let's see gold. Our gold is reacting. Gold is still in, in this range. So let's see what is going to happen. This, for this entry, the, the TP would, would have been over here. Yeah, so not far away. At the same time, that on EURUSD, we are at our hourly PSA that is currently breaking below. So, yeah, I'm looking, I'm seeing that we can see a continuation down even on GPUSD, given the strength on EURUSD. So, this, where is my mouse? It's where the, the TP will be. It's very likely that it's going to be it. Uh, do, especially with the current strength in the yeah, in the Euro USD bearish um, movement and momentum, so you can see that over here, yeah, temper one. That's the pleasure of not ev not having any spread. And on Euro USD, you can see that this entry would have been a win without win without. So with uh, break even, but this one at the same time will be a loss without the, the break even. So still uh, will be a better, a better thing. But let's see. Now we probably quick, very quickly retested. This is our PSA. But not giving us any any trade idea to to work with. Let's see below these lows. Gold, yeah, pushing at these lows. This one is okay. So yeah, now we are back at the entry where we started with the actual uh, PPI. So we are back at the same level after this strong rejection and pullback. Now we're going to see how the price are going to approach this hourly PSA uh, or if they want to or if they want to to just pull back the previous highs Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we are seeing now a pushback. Uh, depending on the entry, this one will be a win or a break even. Also, um, over here, your USD is bouncing back up. Gold is now breaking above. So we, that's where, what we might see. Uh, as I was saying, with the new four hour, we might see a pushback up uh, of gold, taking advantage of the dollar weakness. Which would then would result on GPUSD on this price action and pattern. Let's see on gold. I don't like so far these these reactions, these uh, this type of price action because we are still we have a lot of uh, big range to fill. Yes, but uh, we will need to a clean breakout before taking any risk because. Any entry, even just to go to these lows, will be a stop loss. So, for me, that was not enough. Uh, Euro USD doing their thing, and the GPUSD the same. Following for now this path, if uh, USD is going to push uh, on a on a bearish thing, on a bearish path, the last impulsive move uh, we see that we are now around fifty percent. The one that made a new low, so. We can also be in a <coughs> in a bearish 
uh, trend and now just only being in a pullback phase but let's see especially on gold i would love to see for now uh, this item would have been to i would say that it would be too rushed and let's see now i would love to see a clean breakout candles above this eye confirming that we are indeed uh, going to push okay for now this entity will not be will have been violated as i was saying uh, with the possible uh be this being a possible bearish the price that made a new low and then retrace 50 percent for now will have gone already six uh six ish pips on the downside in a continuation of the main trend, same time that EURUSD reacted to a 75% retracement. You can see how understanding that saved us from an entry. And I mean, actually, a 50% entry would almost be a TP. So that is great. Let's see how it's going to continue uh, moving. okay okay let's see if this push is giving us no so far nothing to gold not giving any strength to gold and yeah this price action is uh for now it's not clear it's not one directional as i was uh, hoping for not even on your usd so no real I mean, on your USD, we got a retest of the hourly, but it's not something that I would say it was much, it was clear. Uh, so that's okay. Would it be the possible retest of this same area if I was still in a trade? But yeah, so far it's not really uh, one directional. Let's see gold. Gold, uh, even though the volume is not really strong. Uh, now we might break above on both of these pairs. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. I would love to see a nice candle like here, and then one or two candles, and then a uh, nice impulsive bullish move. I was also want to see EUUSD moving bullish and GPUSD moving bullish. Otherwise, there is no no enter yet.
for now there is no real uh, no, no real confirmation of the bullish bias on gold and not even on GBP USD is not really showing us any strength so let's see uh, yeah this is a new four hour but we didn't see any huge increase in volume so let's see uh, what is going to happen Okay, now it looks like some nice price action. Good, it was a bounce from this hourly, so not yet a bounce from here. Uh, but if we now have a nice candle, we can take a retest, but so far it's not showing us that strength that we want to see before taking uh, our scalp entries. Yeah, not even on GPUSD. So it is moving slowly bullish, yes, I, I agree. But uh, so far, if the entry would be very, very clutch, would be very, very sort of chaotic. Now, let's see if, if <laughs> this is a nice candle. This is actually the opposite. The, the, this is exactly what I was waiting for. Let's see if we got a retest on uh, gold. Okay, yeah, so we got we didn't get a full retest. Let's see now on yeah, GBUSD is not giving us the same reaction. EURUSD is giving us uh, is actually giving us better price action that I, uh, I could and I should have taken advantage of because these candles are ve were very nice. And uh, gold hindsight is 2020. I mean, it's not moving that much. It's moving now at 20 pips. Um, yeah, and also we get these strong candles. So let's see. Uh, we might see a ret retest of this area. Remember that we are not on the one minute. So uh, this is yeah, still one of two candles before after the breakout. So we can easily see uh, something like this happen. ATP will be 30 and the stop loss is 10 so yeah it will work fine and GPUSD the price action is not convincing yeah from these lows it's almost like ATP but it's not now having an entry it's a very very difficult especially with this weakness in the uh, in the bullish bias and also on gold we might see a, pull, a push down and failing to continue up so let's see this might be a scared uh, just because i'm scared but let's see let's take it and uh, and analyze afterwards okay Hopefully the, the this price action is going to hold. GPUSD might have been an entry over here, but still yes, the same. Uh, we are very close to an hourly PSA, so that's where we might have a reaction. But probably that would have been a nice entry. I would have liked that. 
And of course, I would love to see, uh, especially if it's going to get activated, I would love to see gold bouncing from these lows. Yes. So in this example, it's at 20 pips. You go here. Yeah. For now, it's a very nice, nice moving price action on gold. So let's stay on it. Let's see, let's see, it went to like 16 pips. Let's see if it's going to continue pushing up or we're going to see a rejection. GPUSD not giving us the best trade conditions. now it's going to go down it's okay uh it looks like that the usd is giving us is pushing back so we're getting some more strength in the usd um so let's see now uh, it's not really an issue the stop loss is 10 pips and it's okay we accept that the entry was very good would have loved to get um a 20 to 20 pip and get possibly a break even but we still have the chance that price will push up from the hourly, grabbing this liquidity and then pushing back up. So it's uh, it's absolutely fine. Or you can just get out, stop out, and uh, and that's it. It's everything was under control, and uh, so risk management was very good. Also, the it's looking good because the stop loss was below these lows. Showing us that at below these lows, the the actual um, trade idea we have not been look, looking so great. Uh, yeah, but we saw an overall uh, rejection on uh, on the USD pairs in general, EUSD and GPUSD. Uh, I I might not like if now from these lows we bounce back up. That's for sure.
Ok, ok. Yeah, so far we got, we are seeing some sort of exhaustion at these lows on the on the one minute. On the one minute, as you can see, we are retesting this overall area. But yeah, mm, it's not guaranteed that the price is going to push up from there. So that is a little bit reassuring for me because at least let's see if it's the one minute is closing above this area. Let's see. On the one minute, this could be a, a nice trade idea for the continuation up. Would be around 35 pips. Uh, but let's see. On the 20 tick chart, this would be a possibly a sell even. Because the, the PSA is not that clear. You can see it could have been this cell. La 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 la.
So we are back and uh, we are approaching New York Stock Exchange open. Uh, we are seeing now that after this old move, uh, we got some nice possible trade ideas playing out. But I mean, now our main trade idea was above these eyes. I was not checking uh, because I was doing some other work stuff. This could have been a possible entry on GBPUSD. Let's have a look at gold. I don't know where gold is right now. Yeah, gold was moving the same. You can see how this one would have been a break even trade. And uh, yeah, just want to monitor on the lower time frame. Yeah, we would have gotten down to these lows before pushing back up, uh, even as a one minute one. Uh, over here now, this after this push pullback and breaking above these eyes, we might have got uh, a nice entry. Still not moving that much. This is very nice because it's uh, respecting the line. And let's see EOUSD. Um, okay. Yeah, this one is not really something that I was monitoring. Yeah, we might be breaking above these eyes now and having a buy limit set up over there. Looks, uh, looks quite nice. And uh, yeah, at the same time that GBP USD is doing the same. We could place a buy limit here or better would be at these lows if we want to see a full retest, but most likely, yeah, let's place it over here in the middle and uh, hopefully it will get, it will give us a retest. Now this is, yeah, New York Stock Exchange opening will give us a retest before pushing back up. Uh, yeah, but we have a busy, busy PSA over there, so. We will need <coughs> something to be more sure about that. And let's see that if EURUSD might give us the, the, the retest with the entry at these previous eyes. We'll be looking nice. We'll be we'll, we'll blah, 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 blah. We'll be okay. Yeah, so far it's pushing up. Even GPUSD is simply pushing up. Uh, we have this PSA. Yeah, we can. Place it like this, yes. Let's see if it's going to give us a retest.
it looks like that we got really unlucky because my be my greediness made me made that it was not activated okay mm, that's a sort of hard to to cope with because my entire idea was really good but i i did, did yeah and also i did not do that yeah i was not monitoring here it moved around 40 pips on yeah over here Now let's see. Let's see if it's going to get activated and the price is going to continue pushing up. I don't like this price action, but let's see how it goes on uh, your USD. This is on gold. Gold gave us this possible second further chance. Uh, GBP USD, not much. The same thing will be that probably the price would have not been activated. Uh, probably, but quite unlucky, I would say. Yeah, and but mostly it's about uh, it's about here your USD. Very, very unlucky. Uh, but no, no, it's not unlucky. It's that I did not. Uh, I was greedy and I placed the the limit further down. So it's, it was not activated by a mistake, my mistake, I mean, a personal, personal mistake, as you can see, yeah, it would have been over there. <coughs> okay, GBP USD, possibly continue, continues to push up. What I like about GBP USD is that it moves a little bit more than Euro USD, probably because it's less uh, manipulated or anything. This was the other opportunity on gold. Let's see. Manipulated, I mean, with less uh, volume. Okay. So, of course, the best entry would have been over here on your USD with this candle kind of breakout, retesting, and this would already be a win. But also, my entry would have been okay. The thing is that I got greedy and I put it exactly at these lows when I think in the in the beginning it was around there. Oh, probably it was not, maybe it was not even activated, would have not been activated even. On GBPUSD, we were looking at this one, but I did not take the entry. The, the, we would really be at break even. Let's see. <coughs> so yeah, we will be back at break even over here. The best entry would have been over here. Um, win, but yeah, a little bit unlucky. Not unlucky. It was not luck. It was greed. Let's see now if it's going to bounce from these lows. Yeah, even here on gold um, was difficult, but as you can see that the path was okay. Yeah, even here, but yeah, the thing is that 
I didn't not I was not liking the the price action too much. Let's see if we bounce from there. Euro USD same bounce, but would not been gone to break, break even. And yes. Okay, so far it looks like that we are seeing some rejection at this area, as uh, anticipated. Uh, now it looks like over here we didn't get much of a push. EUUSD is still showing some signs of dollar weakness. With nice candles, candle body, candle movement. Yeah, uh, this one would have been a win, absolutely. But uh, we, we got unlucky. And let's just see. Now let's go back over here before we close off the session i wanted to see uh my if it was the order we only got the losses so that's good uh, i wanted to see done orders okay this one that was cancelled was submitted na zero one point zero nine six eight seven Six eight seven. So now, as you can, as you are seeing uh, on the, this is the actual when I placed the the limit was I think six eight nine. Yeah, uh, nine six eight nine. So I think it will not would have not been activated anyway. And six eight nine. Yeah, because the low of these candles is a 6.92 so 0 0.3 pips yeah over here will not be activated anyway so as you can see also see you can see how all this blah 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 is what made me not take further trades like this one which will probably be a win if it goes to 10 pips yeah and the gpusd keeps pushing in this case this one, uh, an entry right there. I don't know if I would have taken because it depends on where I, where I place the, the buy limit. Uh, 1.6, yeah, would be here. This one still missed by a bit. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, very nice. I would say that is sort of, of a learning lesson, learning session. 
because the price action was exactly as expected on these pairs, as you can see. This one was missed by a little bit. I saw this week, so I thought, okay, maybe I should, yeah, because it's retesting exactly the week. So it maybe it should have been higher, but it's okay. And uh, yeah, gold as well, the movement was exactly as expected. And uh, should I just take in the entry and that's it. But anyway, that's, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.